Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a very exciting vlog, but before I start talking about that, I did want to wish you all a happy Halloween because I do believe as I'm posting this video, it should be Halloween for you guys. So I hope you're all having a spooky day. I hope you're having a fun time. Hopefully I will also be having a spooky day and a fun time. So yes, today I'm starting another reading vlog. I'm very excited about this one because I'm going to be participating in Vampathon for the next four days, which I'm so excited about. If you guys don't know, Vampathon is a week long readathon hosted by some lovely ladies here on booktube. I will obviously like link them in the announcement video. So I'm so excited about this. Unfortunately, I could not participate in like the first four days because I had two exams this week and I unfortunately could not justify um, not studying for my exam so I could participate in a readathon. So yes, I'm starting a little bit late, but hopefully I can still do some good reading this weekend. I have today, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so I have high hopes. However, my TBR is quite large. Let me just show you this real fast. This is like the kind of reading somebody would do in a month, not like three and a half days. So I don't know if it's gonna happen. However, most of these books I am like halfway through or almost finished with, so that definitely helps. So instead of going through this entire stack right now, because I'm not even 100% sure if I'm gonna read these, when I'm gonna read these, that kind of stuff, I will just show you my plans for like today and tomorrow. And then we'll go from there. And then I also tell you what prompt or prompts I am using these for. So the book that I'm going to be finishing first, which isn't exactly spooky, but it's just a book that I really need to have read by tomorrow morning, actually, and that is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This is the Wyverns and Words book club pick for October, which is the book club that I run here on YouTube with Cass. I am like 40 pages away from the end of this book. I think I'm on page like 406, so... That will definitely be happening. I'm gonna finish it up this afternoon and I am using this book for the thriller slash murder mystery prompt, which it's not, like that's not how I would pitch this book at all, but I need to read it and it's happening during Vampathon, so it's close enough for me. We'll be finishing this one today and then I think I'm also aiming to finish Shadow Kiss, which is the third book in the Vampire, I almost said Vampire Diaries. Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I am also like halfway through this book. I'm on page 191. I think I'm enjoying this one a bit more than I was the first two books in the series and I don't really know why that is but I just think it's better. The writing has definitely gotten better and it is less problematic in general which is always good. So my goal is to finish this book today as well. I think that's doable however me and my friends are going out tonight for Halloween so we're probably gonna leave like to go get ready at like six so that's in like five no for like four and a half hours Ooh, i don't know if i have enough time to do this honestly we'll see goal is to finish this this afternoon but if it doesn't happen like that's fine i'll finish it up tomorrow and i'm gonna be using this one for two prompts actually first of all there's a prompt for a book set in a school obviously it takes place at an academy and i'm also going to use this as the vampire to movie adaptation prompt because while this book specifically doesn't have an adaptation the first book in this series does and that's close enough for me so these are the two goals for today and then i think tomorrow i might try to finish dracul which i'm also halfway through i'm on page 329 so i think that's very doable i'm enjoying this one so far i think it'll happen and this one i'm going to be using for a book with a gothic setting the like most of the book doesn't really have a gothic setting but there are snippets that take place in like castles or towers or just, you know, generally gothic things, but just small snippets. But again, it's close enough. And then tomorrow I would also like to read The Girl from the Other Side 1 and 2. These are the first two volumes in a manga series, I believe. I think there might be an adaptation for it, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think I saw Jody talk about these maybe but i saw these at my local library yesterday and they looked really spooky kind of creepy and then i read the back of this one and it says this is a story of two people one human one inhuman who linger in the hazy twilight that separates night from day hello that literally sounds right up my alley right at my street it just looks like it's going to be a really interesting story and i'm using both of these for the spooky slash gothic cover i do have other books that fit more prompts on the board but i will talk about those a little bit later so this intro doesn't get like unbelievably long because i already have something else to talk about real fast 
which is some book mail that I have received recently from you guys and I wanted to talk about it in a vlog obviously because I'm just so thankful that anybody wants to send me something off of my Amazon wish list so obviously I got to talk about it first of all this is so fun this is like a nightmare before Christmas manga it's not like an adaptation of the story necessarily but it's like a side story it's called zero's journey and i think it's so cute i think this is just gonna be a really fun time it looks very like almost christmasy i don't know i feel like it leans more christmas than like the movie does and i think i'm gonna read this in like november or december and jane sent me this book so thank you so much jane she said i'm enjoying your fall slash pooky content you started me on ray bradbury which makes me so excited because ray bradbury is literally perfect for fall i do have one of his books on this tbr i just haven't talked about it yet but Hopefully I will get to that one as well. And she's starting from The Dust Returns soon, which I'm so excited to get to, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to it this month, but hopefully it'll happen soon, but I hope you like it. So thank you so much to Jane. I'm so excited about this one. And then I also have a few more books which I'm so excited about. Maya sent me all three books in the Inheritance Games trilo trilogy. Is it a trilogy? I think there's another book. Is there another book? I don't know. Anyway, these are all of the books that are out in the Inheritance Games series. That is so hard to say. Oh my gosh. But I'm so excited about this series and I actually just watched Knives Out last weekend, which I've heard this compared to Knives Out like a lot. So that makes me really excited because I did very much enjoy Knives Out. So hopefully I can make a reading vlog for this series. I think that'd be really fun. I want to do that soon. So very excited so thank you so much maya she said if you do a reading vlog on this trilogy it'd be so nice and i want to know what team you're on because i know there's like this kind of debate between which brother that people want the main girl to end up with which i'm always down for stuff like that so that sounds like a lot of fun again thank you so much to maya and jane i'm just so thankful so i think that's everything that i needed to tell you in this intro i hope this hasn't gone on for too long but knowing me it probably will but plans for today. Yes, let's talk plans for the day. Like I said, me and my friends are going out for Halloween. I am doing something very creative and innovative that nobody's ever been before. I'm gonna go dressed as a cat. But until then, I am going to sit down and hopefully finish these Violent Delights and Shadow Kissed. So yes, I will update you as I have updates for you. Yeah, there we go. I just finished these violent delights and i think i'm gonna give it a four stars honestly like it definitely took me a while to get into it and that's the only issue that i have with it is that it starts out incredibly slow but overall i thought the story was so interesting the romeo and juliet retelling aspect of it is so cool because there are some things that are like very blatant but then there's like other kind of more subtle things that even as somebody who hasn't read romeo and juliet in its entirety like you can pick up on them and it's just kind of like it's kind of fun also i thought the social commentary was like really well woven into the story and i feel like it's very important to talk about like what life was like you know in certain places at certain periods of time well you know it was like the glamorous 30s in america but not so much in other places so i love seeing stories like that told as well the only thing is like this doesn't affect my star rating because it's like a me problem but <laughs> There's there's so much discussion of insects and bugs in this story because that's like it's it's just very integral to the plot and it is absolutely disgusting. There's so many ew, there's so many scenes in this book that deal with so many bugs and I was like this is such a choice. I've never read a book where there are so many bugs and I hate it so much. Thankfully I don't think they're ever like described really. I don't think you even know what kind of insects they are. There were just a couple of descriptions in this book that I was like, I might puke. Um, it was so gross. Aside from that, it was fine. I liked the relationship in this, but it's not my favorite thing. I do feel like 
their chemistry heavily relies on what their relationship was like four years ago and obviously like we don't know about that i'm not really excited to pick up our violent ends which is like the second book in this series because i just really want to know basically how the relationship shakes out because like things happened um things happened and it was a choice on juliet's part but i also see why so i'm excited for that plot wise it kind of just sounds like you know the first book again but now that i know more information sooner i'm just really glad i ended up liking this book because i want to read foul lady fortune so badly but obviously i need to read our violent ends and i'm glad that i'm excited to read the second one so i can then read foul lady fortune because i just think the concept of that one sounds so fun and i also found out that that one is also a shakespeare retelling i believe it's retelling as you like it which i don't know anything about that one it's not like i'm gonna read as you like it before i pick up foul lady fortune because i do not have the brain cells for shakespeare right now but just a fun fact so there we go one book down i'm gonna go fill in my little vampophone spread which is basically just like filling in a box because i'm excited about it so i'm gonna update my reading journal as well so it's like 2:40 now one book down after i update my journal i am going to hop into shadow kiss like i said earlier i am very excited to read some more of this one i just think it's going to be a fun time which is what i'm looking for i think i have like like 240 pages i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time to finish this before i leave tonight but we'll just have to see i will keep you updated so let's go read some more So I've made a decent amount of progress in Shadow Kiss. I think I read like 140-ish pages. So now I have 100 pages left until I'm finished with this book. And I now think I'm definitely going to be able to finish it today, which is exciting, especially because I think I'm finally getting into like the action part of this plot. It's really funny because all three of these books have really just followed like the exact same formula. It's like setup, relationship drama setup, more setup. And then you kind of get into like this really action impact part of the plot that takes up like the last 75 to 100 pages where people are getting kidnapped and you know the Strigoyer coming to attack and you have to see Rose be a badass. I actually just saw her kick some ass because they're doing this training exercise where like their supervisors are coming to attack them when they are you know caught off guard obviously training for the real world and she she handled them all all three of them all on her own and I was like okay get it. I love that for her. I'm, you know, excited to read the last 100 pages of this book. I think I'm also going to be rating this one a three stars, maybe like a 3.5 because I have been like more invested in this one than I have been over the last few. But also since this is the third book, I am noticing some things that piss me off. Well, not like really notice things, but I'm like, really starting to think about it. So in this world, you have three types of vampires. You have the Strigoi, which are like kind of the typical vampires. Like, you know, they're drinking people's blood. They're killing people. They don't care. Then you have the Moroi. Yeah. Who are also kind of vampires. They do need blood to live, but they're not like so violent. And they also have magic or elemental magic. So like magic, which is interesting. I like that aspect. And then you have the Dampiers who are like kind of vampires kind of humans it's like a hybrid type of situation and in this world obviously the strigoi are like the enemy you're trying to protect everybody from strigoi attacks basically and in this society the dampiers are trained typically to become these things called guardians where they basically have to protect the Roy from the strigoi but that's like all they do with their life and there's this motto that the guardians have that it's like they come first talking about the Maroi. i was like what makes them so special like why can they not learn to fight and keep the strigoi away themselves it makes me so mad thinking about it because i'm like how in any universe does that make sense and there's like people 
in this, you know, who are trying to kind of fight back against the system and everybody's like, you're crazy, like that's insane. But I'm like, how entitled do you have to be to let other people spend their entire life protecting your sorry ass because you can't learn to fight. It's I'm like, how does that make any sense? And I know like, that's the point. I'm supposed to be pissed about this, but I'm like, why does not, why is nobody else seen this as an issue? And there's this like monarch figure in this society and she just pisses me off to no end. I'm like, you're the worst person I have ever met. Like, I just hate her so much. And I just want all of the damn peers to go live their lives do what they want to do. If they want to be guardians, like, that's chill. But they shouldn't have to give up, like, their entire life to protect somebody else when they could just learn to protect themselves. Many questions. I have many questions. But I like the rage. It keeps me reading. You know what I'm saying? So, Rochelle Mead is getting the reaction she wants out of me, so... Yeah, I'm excited to read some more. I really, really want to, like, finish this series soon because I'm having such a good time reading it. But there's this thing that I know happens because I'm dumb and I saw a spoiler online and I need to get to it right now because the way this will shift the dynamics is so juicy. And I feel like now that I know this, I'm noticing things. Not like foreshadowing because I don't see how you could really foreshadow this, but I'm like, I need to read all of this series right now just so I can see what happens like i must know i'm honestly just having like the best time reading this series it's so fun it's so trash ya but honestly i need that right now like my brain wants a break and that's what vampire academy is giving me so i definitely think like my goal is to finish it by the end of the year which is very doable so i'm so excited and i also just really want to watch the show but i think somebody told me on my last video that i should read all of the books before i watch the show which like i was probably gonna do that anyway but now I'm like, oh, now that I can't watch the show, I really want to watch the show. But that's keeping me going. And I'm just excited in general to read some more of this. So anyway, um, rants about Vampire Academy aside, I feel like I've had too many of them recently. But it's like five o'clock now. I think me and my friend are going to go to Crumble Cookie when she gets off work. Because this week they have like some top notch flavors. They have a hot chocolate cookie. They have a Rice Krispie cookie. I think they have a cookie with nerds on it, which sounds disgusting, frankly. I'm not getting that one, but it's, you know, it's on theme for Halloween, but that's not for like another hour. So there's my update for Shadow Kiss. So I'm gonna go read some more and I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow morning. I knew this is the thing okay the thing that I thought happened happened and I was just really hoping it didn't happen and I saw it wrong but apparently it does happen I don't even have enough time to finish this book right now it's very upsetting because my friend is gonna be here in like five minutes and I need to like get my stuff together but I only have 14 pages of this book left that was good that was I'm entertained thoroughly Am I gonna give this book four stars? I might give this book four stars just because the ending of it was very action-packed and also I just think it's really funny that yet another kidnapping happened. <laughs> like I'm telling you, all of these books, it's like the same formula. It's like set up for like 75% of the book and then somebody gets kidnapped and shit goes down. Which like I'm not mad about. Um, I just think it's kind of funny, but wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get my crumble cookie. I will probably take my book with me just so I can finish it because I need to read the last 14 pages right now. And I will probably talk to you guys uh, tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Hello everybody, it is Saturday morning and I do have a reading update for you real fast because I finished Shadow Kiss. Things happened at the end of that book and it's so interesting but at the same time it makes me so sad because I don't see how this situation is gonna get solved. And I'm like, but, but what happened? And I'm like, I, I didn't think I was that attached to these characters but now that something has gone on, I'm like, wait, no. 
I don't know. It's definitely like a big turning point in this series. I think we're gonna be leaving the Academy in this next book, which is gonna be interesting because obviously like the first three have mainly taken place like in the Academy or with the people from the Academy. And I just wanna see something different. Yeah. I think the next book's gonna be really juicy, really interesting. The drama of everything that happened at the end of the last book, honestly, like, it makes me sad, but also it was so juicy. I was like, no way. I knew it was happening because I spoiled myself for it, but I was like, no way. I didn't think it would happen that soon, but I guess it makes sense. I think I'm gonna give the book a 3.5 or a four star. I definitely enjoyed my time reading it and the writing's gotten a lot better since the first book as well which is always good, and maybe a four star. Yeah. Like, it wasn't amazing, but I can't really find anything to, like, say against it, you know? Like, I just thought, for what it is, it was a really fun time, it was a fast read, and I, I enjoyed it, so. I think a four star, for sure. Anyway, it's Saturday morning right now, it's 8.44. I'm on my way to get some McDonald's breakfast because it's a weekend, we gotta get some McDonald's breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Also need my Diet Coke. That's an essential. But plans for the day. Let's go over it. First of all, I have my live show with Cass in like an hour and 15 minutes. So that should be really fun. We're going to talk about these violent delights. So, oh, there's a cat. It was a cute cat. Um, that really distracted me. There's like this wall over here. And I did, not that it matters, but there was a cute cat that I saw. Um, what was I talking about? So for our live show, we're going to be talking about these Violent Delights, which I finished yesterday, which I'm very excited about because I ended up really enjoying it. And I think that's going to be a fun time. But after that, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to try and finish Dracul today. That seems doable. I have like six hours left on the audiobook, maybe. And then at like two times speed, this one, three hours. So I'm going to do that. But I actually, I think before I do that, I'm going to read The Girl from the Other Side, at least the first volume, just because I want to break up the reading that I've done so far with a little manga, you know, switch it up a bit. So I think that'll be fun. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to finish something aside from, you know, the girl, f what did I call it? The girl from the well, the girl from the other side and Dracul today. But if I do, obviously we can just discuss that later. And then later tonight at like five, maybe my friend Elaine is gonna come over and we're gonna watch Vampire Diaries, which I'm very excited about. So. That's the plan for today. It's gonna be chill. It's gonna be a good time. I'm already having such a fun time doing this readathon. Both of the books I finished yesterday were great. So we're off to a good start. So I'm gonna go get my breakfast and then I'm gonna go read The Girl from the Other Side, volume one and maybe volume two. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> It's a little bit later. It's like one in the afternoon now. So me and Cass did do our live show for these Violent Delights earlier and it was a lot of fun. So if you were there, thank you so much. And then after that, we did like talk for a little bit. But once we hung up, I did decide to read The Girl From The Other Side, volume one. And I really enjoyed this. The art style in it is very cool. And I just like a lot of the panels. Like look at these, look at these nice leaves. I don't know. It's like a very slow moving fairy tale. Where did it, it describe it in some way and I really liked it. They describe it as a tranquil fairy tale about those human and inhuman. And I don't even, I'm like, I don't know what it is about that sentence, but it just draws me in. And I'm really excited to pick up volume two, which will hopefully be happening today because I really would like to read some more. I also think the story for this is just really interesting. You're following this little girl whose name is Shiva, I believe. And she is currently residing with this 
dude. I don't know exactly what he is. All we know is that he's been touched by this curse that is plaguing this kingdom. So in the beginning, you're following them, but then at some point during the story, we kind of switch to the POV of like some soldiers or knights. I don't exactly know what they are because some of the panels in this do give me like kind of a medieval vibe, which is kind of cool. And they're basically trying to take down any cursed beings like him. So obviously he is a target, but they are also targeting this little girl because they think she is cursed in some way, even though she doesn't look like him. So I'm interested to know what that's like. And basically we saw an interaction with them and he's just trying his best to keep this little girl safe. And I think it's just such a wholesome relationship they have. I'm excited to see where the rest of the volumes in this manga go. And yeah, I'm really glad I decided to pick this up. Plans for the rest of the day are going to include reading. Who would have thought? So I'm thinking I might listen to my audiobook for Dracula a little bit. I have listened to it a little bit today while I was like doing my makeup and getting ready. So I think I've listened to like 40 pages of this book so far today and I have about six hours left in the audiobook. I don't know if I'm exactly feeling like reading the rest of this book today. I definitely want to make some progress, but I don't know if I want this to be like my main focus just because it's not dense, obviously, but it does kind of drag in the way that Dracula does because Dracula, I love the vibes of that book and I love the ambiance and I like the setting, but the story is a little bit slow and it's kind of the exact same way that I'm feeling about this book right now. So A plus to Dacry Stoker and JD Barker for catching the vibes from Dracula and really like putting it in here. I don't know, I do wanna make some progress though. Like I will be reading some of this today. However, I am kind of thinking, hang on, I gotta go grab it. I do have the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series and I kind of wanna start it a little bit. Like I don't know if I'm gonna prioritize reading this because this is a long book. I like the ending of Shadow Kiss, I'm like, I need, I need to read some more. You know what I'm saying? So I might pick this up on audio as well. I don't love the audiobooks for this series, but it gets the job done because these are really easy audiobooks to listen to because, you know, it's not hard to figure out what's going on. You can read them very quickly. So I might pick up the audiobook for Blood Promise as well. I think I can do that. I'm gonna be sad if it's not available for my library. Uh, oh, is it not available? Oh, it is, nice. <laughs> I swear the libraries, like, it, where my, my home is, like, they never have audiobooks available for me. But the libraries, where my college is, they have my back. So I did borrow the audiobook for Blood Promise, so that's fine. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna prioritize reading that this weekend, but it's just a really good time. And I always feel like the time flies by when I'm reading this series, so... I am excited to read some more. I think it's gonna be fun. So... I feel like that's um, the updates. Like I said right now, it's like 1.30. Elaine's coming at like five or six. Until then, I'm gonna listen to my audiobooks. I'm gonna clean my room and I will give you an update on whatever one of these audiobooks I decide to pick up right now. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh, I'm also gonna read that other manga volume. So fun plans for the day. I have made some decent progress in Dracul, which I'm very excited about. I think I've read like a hundred-ish pages, maybe. I'm 80% of the way through the audiobook now, which is good. I only have like three hours left. Now that we're getting towards the end, it is getting a little more interesting. We're getting some background for some of the characters and like how Dracula actually fits into all of this situation. And just seeing it finally all come together is so satisfying and I'm just really enjoying 
all of that so far. It's still very like slow, but I think I'm gonna give it a four stars overall because I have really enjoyed the content of the book. I do wish it would happen a little bit faster, but at the same time, I see why it's told in this kind of like slow, drawn out way. Like it makes sense for the story. So I'm really enjoying it. The writing's great. It really does capture the essence of Dracula which is great, so. But right now I'm at the public library because I have not left my apartment like all day and I was like, hmm, maybe I should do that. So I'm taking this as an opportunity to go pick up some more volumes of The Girl from the Other Side because I think I can already tell that I'm really gonna wanna read some more of it. And even if I don't read it for Vampathon, I just like to have it on hand for when I do decide to read it. Also, I had like 40 million volumes of Tokyo Ghoul that I needed to turn back in because I was planning on doing a video where I read like all of them in the span of a day um it didn't happen and then I really needed to turn the library books back in which is a shame because orchestrating getting all 12 volumes at the same time are there 12 volumes getting all the volumes at the same time it took a little bit of brain power and now it's for naught but I, I had to turn them in so it's, it's probably better that way because i think they're like a week late so don't tell anybody about that anyway i'm gonna go in i'm gonna grab like whatever volumes they have of the girl from the other side and then i'll also definitely take a little look around and obviously i'm gonna take you guys with me because i love a good library segment i hope you guys also love a good library segment because support your local libraries guys Come on now. So I'm gonna go scope things out, maybe find some fun books that I could read in November. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> have a haul for you. I found quite a few things. Um, I mean, granted, like, nine of these are from the same series, but I did find some other books that I am interested in. First up, I did find a lot of volumes of The Girl from the Other Side. I believe there's a volumes 3 through 11. So if, you know, I decide I want to binge it all in a day, I can. I'm not sure if this is all of the volumes. I'm not sure if the series is even completed yet. I have not done any research into it, really, but I just picked up all the ones that they had because why not, you know? So that's fun. As I was snooping around the YA section, I saw that they had Anatomy, A Love Story by Dana Schwartz. I've heard this kind of compared to the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. It's about this girl who wants to become a surgeon, but she gets kicked out of her anatomy class, I believe. And I don't remember anything beyond that, but I know there's like a little love interest in here too. That's all I needed to know because I do love Stalking Jack the Ripper. I don't think I'm gonna like this one as much just because I'm not sure how accurate of a comparison that is. I feel like this would be a good book for November, which is perfect. And then on my way out, I saw Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I've had this on my radar for a very long time because somebody compared it to a no. Maybe it was like a, if you like the cruel prince you should read this book again don't know how accurate that is but the concept on its own intrigues me because it's fey in the regency period come on now i don't know anything aside from that that's all i got it's about finding a husband in the regency period so like fairy bridgerton that sounds fun anyway it's incredibly hot in my car right now because it's 70 degrees outside and i decided to wear this sweater for the vibes so i need to go so i can turn my ac on but there's the library hall. Elaine's gonna come over in a bit. We're gonna watch some Vampire Diaries and it's gonna be so fun. But I think when I get back, I'm gonna read volume two of Girl from the Other Side. So that's everything I needed to tell you. Now I'm gonna go before I start sweating anymore. <laughs> All 
morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning now. So it's the day before Halloween. It's Halloween Eve. Kind of sad though, because that means, you know, after tomorrow it'll be over. But it's fine. Everything's fine. So I went to Starbucks because I needed to get my full drink again, obviously. But I'm actually here to do two things. I have a reading update for you and then I'm also going to end this vlog. And then I'm gonna start another one for like the rest of the day and tomorrow just because I don't want this to be like super long and I've edited Friday and it's already like 20 minutes so you know I'm just gonna split it into two vlogs the second half will be posted tomorrow so fun stuff anyway um let's talk about what I've read since I last talked to you so this morning I woke up and I read The Girl from the Other Side volume 2 again really enjoying that one we're getting you know a few answers it's kind of fun I think I might read another volume during Vampathon but I'm not sure but they do like take no time at all to read so that's kind of fun and then also I read a little bit of Dracul this morning I think I've read like 50 pages the story is starting to wrap up because we're close to the end of the book and I it's just been such an interesting read honestly it really is just like I'm reading a biography of Bram Stoker's life but with vampires which is just a very interesting concept and I'm really enjoying that aspect of it because I'm getting the enjoyment of like a fun vampire story but I'm also learning things about Bram Stoker's life so that's really interesting I really like where the story is going you're learning some things about characters that are very enlightening shall we say and I'm really I just really like it I feel like it's really well woven together because you had like kind of three timelines you were following but you're now kind of seeing how they all come together and it's very satisfying and i'm just enjoying that one so much so oh wait i literally brought them with me so i could hold them up and then i didn't do it oh okay whatever i also started the audiobook for what's that book called the fourth one in the vampire series the vampire series blood promise i am two percent of the way into it so as you can see i've made a lot of progress but the entire first chapter of this was like just recapping like things that happened in the last book which makes sense like I can kind of get behind that because I'm like what if it's been a while since you read the last one you want to recap but it also recaps just like a bunch of other important information that you've you know already heard recapped in the third books and the second books and I'm like we get it we know it by this point why are we going over it again that's my one gripe with it honestly like recapping it in the second book maybe third book like maybe but not in the fourth book i feel like at that point in the series if you don't know then that's your own problem <laughs> like it's nothing really against the book but i was just kind of annoyed because i was like yeah yeah i know but i am really excited to get into blood promise because we've switched locations shall we say and i think this book is gonna be angsty as hell which i'm also very excited about i don't know if i'm gonna finish it for vampathon because i also have two other books that i was kind of hoping to finish but those might have to be put on hold for a little bit if this one ends up being good but like i don't know maybe i'll start reading it and i'll be like ew and want to like read something else but from what i can tell i think it's gonna be fun is that all that i wanted to update you on oh yes me and elaine did watch vampire diaries last night we're i think almost at the end of season three and season three has been so good like i'm convinced it's the best season of vampire diaries it's like the villains the relationships everything about it such a good time so really enjoying that also last night we talked a lot about akatar because i gave her my copy of it to read and she just finished it and that was also a really good time so i'm going to quickly recap what i read in this vlog and then i will let you go so i finished these violent delights by chloe gong which i gave 3.5 stars i think i thought about it some more and i'm gonna give it a 3.5 that feels right yeah so i finished that one and then i finished shadow kiss which i gave also 3.5 or am I giving that one four? Now I don't remember. I don't know, probably a 3.5 if I can't remember what rating I'm giving it. And then I also finished two volumes of The Girl from the Other Side, so that's fun. Four books down. Hopefully I can also do some good reading in my next vlog. I have high hopes. I have like all of today and then all of tomorrow, which is Halloween, which I'm so excited about, 
to do some fun reading. So overall, the last two days of Vampathon have gone very well. I am so excited about all the reading that I've done so far, and I'm so excited about the reading that I am about to do. So I hope you guys are excited as well and want to join me in my next vlog. So yes, I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below a are you participating in Vampathon? How's it going? Or how did it go for you? No, how's it going for you? Because it's still going on technically. Or if you're not participating in Vampathon, just let me know how you guys are doing. Are you reading any fun spooky books? Do you have any plans for Halloween? I'd love to know, so do let me know. And yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.